Hello, I'm Daniel Brookshire. I'm here with a, another Katia Magic tutorial. This works with any of the Cameo or Magic Draw tools or the Katia Magic tools. Today I'm just going to talk about layouts. So here's a nice little block diagram. It, this is going to be equivalent to a UML class diagram or an ER diagram. Let's just move things around a little bit and let's play with the default layout. There's a little button up here in the diagram toolbar. It's really made up of two pieces. The one on the left does the default layout. Oh, and look, we get a warning because I had just dragged this around. It says that we've, we're only going to lay out that one component. So I'll say, okay, it didn't really do anything. It moved a line around a little bit. But that's pretty important. If I do a click select, and let's select these, and I'll do the layout again, give us the same warning. You can see it just laid out part of the diagram. If I want the whole diagram to lay out, I just click somewhere in the white. Doesn't matter down here, up here. As long as you're not clicking on anything, hit the default layout again, it lays it out. Now there are other layouts, of course. Uh, let's see, let's do orthogonal. Uh, and they're all different. They do slightly different things. Here's organic. But down here is layout options. And here I can choose any of those layout options and manipulate any of the properties of it. So for instance here, minimum layer distance. You can see down here in the help determines the minimal distance between shapes. So maybe I'll change that to 10. Maybe we'll do the same thing with the minimum shape distance. Lay that out and see what it looks like. And we can choose to keep that or I can also go back and reset defaults. Now let's try the default layout again and let's do something else. So a lot of people like to have their association lines on top of each other. It makes the diagram look a little cleaner. We just grab from the center of the association, drag it over and notice if I try to hit that other association, it doesn't quite line up. That's because we're doing snap to grid. So I'm just going to choose a, a place to snap it to, then move the other association, snap it in, and I'll move this. And I'm going to this time grab it by the elbow here and do the same thing. There we go. So that's nice and clean and laid out. Now, unfortunately, there is no layout for this, but uh, it can do some pretty cool things. Uh, some other items you can do say I've got these out of alignment a little bit and I want to line them up. There is a tool if we select all of these. Let's get the that one, that one, and that one. And you will see this lights up. Normally if nothing is selected you won't see it. This is the align tool and this has the kind of alignments you see on any other graphical tool. In this case, we are going to do a line bottom and we're going to do a uh, space evenly horizontally. And you can see that worked. We have to clean up our line here because that centered that, but uh, no big deal. Oh, and in fact, I think I need to snap that over to the side because it was off by a couple pixels. And you can see it's nice and easy. Now, another thing that we have a capability of doing is changing how the line looks. I can either have it uh, kind of shortest path, or I can have it rectilinear, uh, or I can have it a, a curve. So, and that lets us change uh, this to have nice squiggly lines and we can put other breakpoints in it so we can maybe loop around some 
object that's in our way on the diagram. And of course, if we don't like that, uh, we can always lay that out with the default layout or one of the other layouts. But that's all there is to it. There is not much to lay out. Most of it is, is going to be a little bit manual. We do have some nice layouts and with that align tool, just about everything that you can ever imagine trying to use in the tool. Uh, I will say there's one last thing, and that's on almost every object when it is not in a, a kind of default size, there's a little button that looks like a square within a square. If you hit that, that's going to shrink it to its smallest size, or if we're on a, a association or other types of line like this, this will reset it, all the labels that are associated with that line. Well, that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And as always, like any good YouTube watcher, you should be hitting the subscribe and giving me a thumbs up. It's not that I'm making any money off of this, but that helps rise it to the top when people are searching for any kind of video like this. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.